Hello my friends of new and old. Today we are going to talk about shapes. We are going to draw the shape on here and then we'll talk about the characteristics of the shape on this one over here. And we will, let's see, we'll draw the shape in red and we'll write it down and do. So first let's start with the shape circle and circle let's see so circle is spelled c i r c l e now i'm just going to fix up our circle here so it's a little bit more even There we go. All right, <clears throat> now our circle, does it have any sides? I don't think so. There's no real like sides. We can't really count it. It's just one continuous line pretty much. So let's see. It has no sides. Does it have vertices? Now you might be thinking, Mrs. Mount, what are you talking about? What is this thing called a vertice? But when there's more than one of them, which in most cases there are, instead of the Y, it has an ES. So vertices are points where your sides meet. So if you have a triangle, your vertice is going to be right here, where those line, where the sides meet. So this is your side, and there's your vertice. Now, do we have vertices on our circle? Hmm, that's a tricky one. There are no vertices on our circle because our circle has no sides. So there's no spot for it to be connected. So our circle has no sides. It has no vertices. And what kind of a line does it have? Does it have straight lines or does it have curved lines? This around here, are they straight or are they curved? If you said curved, you are right. Curved line. It's just one continuous line all the way around. Okay, let's talk about our next shape. All right, so our next shape we are going to talk about is the shape. Hmm, what do you think that shape is called? That is called a triangle. Now, do we have any sides of our triangle? Are there any sides there? You're right. There is one side. There's two sides. There's three sides. So our triangle has three sides. And now, how many vertices? So how many spots where the two lines connect? Or how many corners? One, two, three. So we have three vertices, or three spots 
where those sides meet. Now, are we using straight lines or curved lines? What do you think? You said straight lines. You would be right. Good job, my friends. You are doing awesome. Right, the next shape we are going to look at is that shape. What is that shape's name? If you said square, you would be right. Good job. And how many sides does our square have? Well, let's count. One, two, three, four. So our square has four sides. And how many vertices does it have? How many spots in that shape are the lines connecting at one point? One, two, three, and four. So our square has four vertices. And are we using straight lines or curved lines? Straight lines. Great job. The next shape we are going to look at is this shape. What is this shape's name? Sorry about that, friends, the video cut out. But if you said rectangle, you would be right. Now, how many sides do we have on our rectangle? One, two, three, four. So we have four sides. And how many vertices, how many corners? How many spots when those two lines meet? One, two, three, four. Four vertices. And are we using straight lines or curved lines? We are using straight lines. Now, if you noticed the characteristics of our square, so the information that describes our square and the information that describes our rectangle is exactly the same. It's only the picture that changes. Pretty cool. Alrighty. And this is our next shape. What do you think this shape is called? It is called an oval. And it also shares the exact same characteristics or the exact same 
information as a circle, except the picture is different. So do we have any sides? Nope, no sides. There's no, no sides. Are there any vertices? Nope, no vertices, no corners. And lastly, are we using straight lines or curved lines? We are using curved lines. Great job, my friends. We have four more to go. All right, so the next shape we are going to learn about is called the Now, what would that be called? That is actually called a rhombus. And it can look like quite a few different shapes. It can look upright like this. It can look like that. Can be flipped upside down, it can be big, it can be small, it can really be any, anything. But the characteristics, so the information we're going to talk about, will always be the same for all rhombuses. So how many sides do we have on our rhombus? And I'll take this one away just so that we're not distracted. But the information will still be the same for that one. We have one, two, three, four sides. And how many vertices do we have? How many corners do we have? One, two, three, and four. So we have four vertices. And are we using straight lines or curved lines? You are right. We are using straight lines. The next shape that we are going to learn looks like, let's see, looks like that. What is that called? That is called a trapezoid. How many sides does it have? One, two, three, four. It has four sides. And how many vertices does it have? How many corners do we have? One, two, three, four. So we have four vertices on this one, too. And are we using straight lines or curved lines? Straight lines. 
Great job, my friends. Now, what also characterizes a trapezoid is that it's smaller at the top, at this top line, and this bottom line is longer. So that's the shape. That's what makes it different than a rhombus. A rhombus has two sides that are the same. And two, well, two sets of two sides that are the same. Where the trapezoid does not. So the next one we are going to talk about is the pentagon. Oh, I gave you the name of it. Oops. Pentagon. And the reason it is called pentagon is because pent is also five in a language I can't remember. Mm, not sure. We're going to have to come back to that one day. Um, but it pretty much means five sides. So let's count our sides and let's see. One, two, three, four, five. So, alrighty. So, we have five sides. Now, how many vertices do we have? And hopefully not take out the camera at the same time. One, two, three, four, five. So we have five vertices. Again, going back to this. I want to say it's like Roman or something. I don't know. I'm really going to have to find out. I promise you I will find out. And are we doing straight lines or curved lines? Straight lines. Good job! And we have one last shape to do today. Actually, sorry. We're going to do two more shapes today. I almost forgot about one. So the first one we are going to do uh, I think I'm going to try and redraw that one. Let's see. So this is called a hexagon. And just like the one previous, this word here, the beginning, means something. So let's try and figure out what we think that part of that word means by counting our sides and seeing. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this, also, that hex means six. So six sides. So how many vertices would that be? One, two, three, four, five, Six. The nice thing about using different colors is even though there's a lot of numbers in this very small space, because you have the different colors that you're using, it's really easy to tell what you're looking at. So we have six vertices. And are we using straight lines or are we using curved lines? 
If you said straight lines, you are right. Good job. We are using straight lines. All right, one last shape for today, and then we will be done with math. Now the next shape, you might see when you are in the car. You might see around your school or by the street. You might, you could see them anywhere, honestly. They might be where your bus stop is. You might see one of these. I just want to make that a little bit more angled there. Let's see. There we go. All right. Now, what shape is this? What does this look like to you? A stop sign. <laughs> you are great. Okay. So, this shape is also called. an octagon. And just like the previous words, that means something. Now, what do you think it means? Well, let's count our sides and find out what that means. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this octa means eight, so eight sides. And how many vertices? How many spots where two lines meet? Well, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight vertices. And do you know what else starts with the word octa and has eight of something? If you're thinking of an octopus, you would be right. And we are using straight lines for our shape of our octagon. Well, my friends, thank you so, so very much for joining me for today's math lesson, and I hope to see you next time. Stay Limitless Learners!